everybody, welcome back. We are rock painting with Apache Junction Parks and Rec on Thursday before the big Easter weekend. I want to welcome you to my home. Um, tonight we're going to be painting Easter themed rocks. I have a carrot. Oh, we're going to have carrots. And we have rabbits. And next week we're going to do gnomes. So tune in next Friday back at our regular time and we're going to do some easy gnomes. But I'm super excited about painting tonight. Before we get started, just want to remind you that I know Easter is usually a super busy weekend out at our parks, but we our parks are open in the trails, so you can go out, you can walk the trails, you can walk on the sidewalks, but for large gatherings, the parks are closed and a lot of the amenities are closed, so please limit the number of folks that are out there. Please practice physical distancing, and if you want updates on what all closures there are at the parks, please visit our website at ajcity.net backslash parks. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend, but right now go grab your paints, get your rocks, and let's do some painting. All right, we are starting with our bunnies here and I have pre-put them out in different steps to make this go a little bit quicker. After the watch group is over, you can come back and stop and pause and play all that you want to see through the steps. So I used this plaster of Paris stone that I made so that you could see the outline that I create on the rock. I used a pencil, but if you're going to be using white paint, I would recommend using a white chalk pencil um, or something similar you would see in like a sewing kit. Uh, the white chalk will wash away when you're done or it will blend in with your white paint. So we're going to move on to a rock that is already pre-lined and we're gonna start painting our white base. Again, as before in our other classes, we talked about having to paint several coats of white. And this is especially true because white is the color of the rabbit and it will take several attempts, probably about three, I would say. And you'll want to put on a thin layer and let it dry and go back to um, painting your second layer and your third layer after each layer has dried to give it a strong base. Now for this particular rabbit, I'm going to also fill in the bow as well, but not concentrate on having as many layers. We just want a nice base so that metallic paint that I chose will shine through really nice and shiny. If you guys wanna drop a picture of what you're working on or just comment below if you're following along and where you're following along from, we're super excited to be painting Easter theme. I, I love the colors. Um, that was the magic there, voila, we're finished. Our three coats are dried and ready to go. We're gonna move into using our metallic colors. I really like this particular uh, pattern, I, I guess you would call it, because there's only three colors, four if you count the outliner, but the white, the metallic, a little bit of pink if you want to put that in the cheeks. And so if you don't want to get out a ton of paints or you don't want the kids to get super messy, uh, this is an easy follow along with very simple colors. With the metallics, I will probably put two coats on. But you can just see here, we're just going to outline in there. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see over where my hands are and get a good visual. Once you outline it, it's pretty much just filling in the lines. And again, this should be another easy one that you could outline the whole thing in advance and then have your kids paint it if it makes it easier for them to see. You could put the eyes and the nose on and outline the bow if you wanted to in advance so that they could color it. But kids are pretty amazing, and I'm always surprised at how much they can do on their own once I get past my OCD of wanting everything to look extremely perfect. I found this tutorial on a Facebook page called Reef Rocks. That's R-E-E-F Rocks. They're based out of Australia, and they have amazing tutorials and it's a great group belong to belong to if you're looking for inspiration on a regular basis. Those are my dogs in the background. Like I said, welcome to painting at home with me. 
You can use your Posca pens as well for this if you would like. But again, I know most of you are using acrylics at home, which is what I recommend. Um, acrylic paints for your rocks are best. Tempera or will just peel off. So my dogs are getting a little excited. So now we're ready to, to finish up here with the outline, which is always my favorite part. I really think that it brings um, the rabbits to life. So we're just gonna outline his bow in there. And then um, those little accents can just follow along his face line. So where his face line would be, that's the accent of your bows. Again, super easy to do. It doesn't have to look lifelike. I actually don't do a whole lot of lifelike videos because I'm not very good at it. But I love putting the faces on and really finishing the piece. You can do this outlining with a thin acrylic brush. It just takes a little bit longer and a little bit more precision. You could have dabbed in a little pink if you wanted to, to give him a little bit of a rosy cheek. I think on the tutorial I saw he didn't have a mouth, so, but I needed to give him a little bit of a smile. Using my dauber, I'm just gonna add in a couple of dots and some accent lines here. Again, I think it's just kind of those finishing touches that add a little bit to them. I'm using a pish a push pin actually from my sewing kit to get in some of those really small details and lines. He looks really good once he's resined. That metallic really pops and shines through. A few little accents and there he is. That's Mr. Rabbit. This version, I am just going to show you here where we added in those pink cheeks. Um, using a sponge, these are Martha Stewart sponges. I really like them. You can get them on Amazon for super cheap. I just really got a wet paintbrush with some pink in it. Um, using a little bit of water, put that in um, to give him his pink cheeks. Now I'm attempting to make him a little bit realistic with giving him some hair. Um, this is very watered down white paint with a very fine brush that I'm just wisping. I'm just wisping it up. If you're not confident in this skill, I recommend trying it out. Uh, this is only my second time doing a um, shaggy bunny. And I think by the time we get done with him, he's going to look like I electrocuted him. But it kind of, it just gives it a little bit of a variation, especially if you like to make, you know, four or five of the same rock, but you kind of want to make them each a little bit different. Again, I'm just going to go around here and try to give him a little bit of fur, makes him look a little furry. But again, this is a technique I'm not as familiar with, but I'm gonna keep practicing on it. I'm gonna keep working on it. We're just kind of pulling up over that black outline that we put in there. If we would have shaded him, given him a little bit of gray and shaded along that line, I think that it would have muted it a little bit and he wouldn't look like an electrocuted bunny so much, but. Hopefully, whoever finds him loves him just the same. And that's really the idea. I think we put too much thought into it, not realizing that the person who finds it really doesn't matter. They're going to be so excited that they have it. So just adding some in over the bow. So if you're out watching us on Facebook and you're just watching, give us a thumbs up. Again, you can always re-watch this after it's finished and pause it if you want to work with us. 
Um, these are great ideas to kind of take back to your kids and do them with your kids if they're not doing them with us. So I'm just kind of giving him some, some whiskers there. Now this pen is on its way out. So what you can't see is I keep dipping it in some water and then I brush off the excess. Um, but he is almost finished. Just going to kind of, again, put some accents in here. He's looking good. I'm going to try this out again and see if I can get just a tad more bit out. And my paint is just a little too wet too. Um, Again, I'm just using my towel to, to try to pull that paint out. So there he is. So we have the same concept here with our carrots. I've already done them in steps. So first here we're going to use the shape of a triangle to get our carrot going. I'm just going to create some big loops here. I have to do this every single time or my carrots come out very unproportionate. So we're going to go ahead and pre-draw out our carrots and our rabbits. And then we will fill them in using a white paint. Again, the base doesn't have to be super dark here because we are going to be going over it with orange. I you can also fill in the rabbit at this time if you want because your rabbit will most likely be white if that's um, what you choose to do. So you can go ahead and put your base down here if you choose to, or you can come down back and do the rabbit at a separate time. I love these. Uh, you can play with the orange color and do some blending. You can have some super yellow carrots or some uh, orange carrots neon orange carrots. I had a lot of fun with these. I can't remember where I saw the inspiration for this, but I started just changing it up a little bit, adding the rabbit off to the side, tried making a fuzzy rabbit like I showed you the last time. So now we're going to put in our orange here because it dried super fast. And you can tell on this one, the rabbit isn't filled in. Any orange color really will work. Uh, I used a pearl orange on one of them and it didn't come out super dark. Um, I tried to heather that rock and I didn't really like the way that I liked how it came out. When I say I heathered it, that is my coined term for glitterizing um, a rock. But here I'm just going with a simple orange. And if you want, you can blend in some yellow or some different shades of orange if you have them. You can let some of that white peek through if you want. Um, but just getting on our, our base coat here. So excited for this weekend. I know everyone's traditions might have to look a little smaller this year. Normally we're at the grandparents' house, but this year it'll just be my family in the backyard. So here I'm just adding in a, a dab of yellow. If you need to wash it out a little bit, add a little bit of water to your paintbrush to help it blend in if you want. So once it's dried, and magically my bunny is now painted, it's the outlining process. Again, I'm gonna use my Posca pen here. You can use a thin acrylic brush, but you can imagine it moves a lot faster and um, smoother with these Posca pens. Uh, you can also use Thule Art pens. I purchased them on Amazon. You can buy just black ones. Just get the super fine tip ones. Uh, be careful when you're ordering. You might get the fat ones, um, which is great too. Sometimes I don't mind misordering. It gives me a reason to get something new, but they can be a bit pricey. So see how quick and easy that was? Um, now we're just going to try to do his ears here. Again, um, my pens are on their way out, so I keep having to kind of add a little bit of water. I am just um, adding in some peak for the cheeks. I don't really like how that's coming out. It's too too dark, so... 
the magic of the movies is, is I get to have a redo. But it's paint. You can always paint over it, which is exactly what I did. The problem I did is I wasn't diluting my pink paint enough to give it that little just blended cheek. So this time I'm going in, I wetted it a little bit, and then I'll be able to use my blending sponge. And you can use any sponge. I think I paid six bucks for these. It's the cheapest Martha Stewart thing I've ever purchased. Gonna go in and add a little face here. These are super easy to do. I think I made like eight of these in one night and I am not a fast painter, but once you get one going, it works pretty, they go pretty fast. So again, I'm just using my pen, my push pen because it, or a straight pen. I get super tiny dots and again, way too big on that one. So I'm gonna have to work this eye out Now he looks like a pirate. He's a pirate rabbit. We're gonna add some green. I always like to use two shades of green when I'm working with grass. I just think it kind of gives it a um, depth look to it. You can add some green down to the bottom. You could add some Easter eggs if you want it at the bottom. I'm going to continue to work on fixing our pirate's eyeball. I'm happy to have you guys all join us. My family's been super supportive of this. This is not something that I ever thought that I would be doing. I don't like to be on camera. I don't like to be behind camera. Um, I'm kind of a hands-on person. We're adding in some hands here so it looks like he's got a hold of that and this was an afterthought otherwise I would have just left the white in there the first go around still working on that pirate eye again if you're just joining us remember after the watch Facebook watch party is ended you can go back and you can rewatch it. And so I've given up. I'm just going to do his eyes on this one. I will be going back to that one. Just like all frustration, sometimes you just have to, to give it a break. And sometimes I'm a little impatient. This is a carrot that I did not draw out in advance. And you can kind of see it's um, it's really fat at the top and was able to slim it down, but I recommend doing the triangle first. Smaller kids, you could definitely outline this in advance, let them paint it and go back over it with uh, your outline afterwards. We're gonna try this one more time Takes a little bit of patience, which like I said, I don't have much of, but I am learning. Gonna give him a little pink nose. And if you're not joining us on Thursday, maybe you'll play this Saturday night or be looking for something to do. I certainly enjoy Looking forward to my weekly paint parties and having an opportunity to paint with all of you guys. I'm looking forward to a nice big paint party event where I can see you all. Feel free to share this um, on your Facebook pages or with your Facebook groups. Again, if it gets people out um, dropping rocks and um, sharing them with your friends, it's all about putting a little bit of cheer out there and, and brightening someone's day. I am less inclined to put rocks out at the parks, although I will be soon.
night. Thank you guys for joining. I think our videos are getting a little bit easier to follow and a little bit faster. Join us for next week, as I mentioned before, where the theme is going to be gnomes. I have a lot of fun with these guys, and I hope you will too. I hope that you guys all have a great Easter spring weekend, and be sure to drop any suggestions that you have, or if you would like to see something special in the weeks to come, let us know. But again, thank you so much for joining us, and that's it for Parks and Rec tonight.